What's up guys? It is the day after Halloween, the first day of November, and I am hanging out outside to talk to you guys about Halloween, family, and scrubbing bubbles. Let's check it out. I ran marketing departments in corporate America for 10 years and then ran a digital agency for over another 10 years. So I know their roadmap to online success and that formula always includes producing content to share your message from your marketing message to sales and delivery. Hi, I'm Jennifer Neal and you're listening to the Content Toolbox. I believe the secret to finding and creating raving fans online is through you. In building relationships through stories that share who you really are, create genuine, crazy, raving fans that keep begging you to take their money. And on this podcast, we'll be talking strategies, tactics, tips, and more with myself and other industry experts. So buckle up and start your engines because it's go time. All right, so you guys, I am not at home. This is not my backyard. This is my mother-in-law's backyard. And why am I here? Because we came down so that we could meet our brand new one month old nephew. So exciting. His name's Simon and we just had the best time getting to see him yesterday and really, really enjoyed seeing all of the family and hanging out. And here's the deal, normally, in the past when I would have done this, I would be stressed out because I'm like, I'm not working. I'm supposed to be recording an episode. <laughs> and I would really beat myself up because I wasn't working and because I was taking time away and uh, spending time with the family. But here's the deal. Really started to understand thanks to several different programs. So back to Tony Robbins land uh, and uh, I'm working in Catherine Jones's program right now as well. You know how when you're thinking about buying a car and it doesn't seem like you see any of those cars anywhere at all, but then you decide on one and all of a sudden there is your car everywhere. Well, they were there the whole time. It's just that you weren't really all that aware, right? You weren't actually paying that much attention and now it's in the forefront of your mind and so it becomes so much more clear, like so much more apparent that that's, that's your car running around. <laughs> it's just because you're more aware of it, right? And uh, ever since I joined Catherine's program, she really made me realize and understand. In fact, I went back and looked at uh, some of my workbooks from Tony Robbins events. And it was the same thing. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is, this is so true. In order to really be all that you are, in business to like be able to be your fullest as an entrepreneur it's so important to pay attention to other things what are you doing for creativity what are you doing to spend time with your family and friends what are you doing to embrace your spirituality your connection with a higher being what are you doing to take care of your physical body your food your movement your activity all of those things are important because if you are not at your best you don't have as much energy, you are not going to perform as well. And if you're not the one out there creating content at your best, then everything suffers because of it. And so it's just, it's so important to have all of a, like a balance of all those things. And you know, Catherine's program just re reminded me of that. But since that, oh my gosh, I have seen it everywhere. You guys, <laughs> like I said, I went back to my old Tony Robbins books and like every single person that I've been talking to lately, I've been doing a whole bunch of really cool interviews. So excited to have them come out. Um, but the, the, I have run into the same thing. It's just like the car. I keep, I keep hearing that same trend everywhere. People are talking about the importance of that balance, the importance of making sure that you're getting all of those facets of life in everything that you're doing. I'm sorry this camera is bouncing around here because my arms are tired, so, you know. Uh, anyway, I just, uh, I, I really have actually thoroughly enjoyed this trip and getting to meet uh, my new little nephew. <laughs> It's been because of the lockdown. We have not seen these kids, our other niece and nephew, for almost a full year. And our little niece, Evie, was dressed up as an Ewok. And 
it's so cute. The way that the little like belly part on the suit was just when she's walking around, she literally walked like a little Ewok. So cute. And Steven was a astronaut and he is so, oh my gosh, so cute. Three years old, little Miss Evie is one and we just have had so much fun hanging with them. And of course my sister-in-law and well, both of them and <laughs> just having a lot of fun. So I think it is so important, especially as we're entering into this holiday season to make sure that we're arranging to spend that necessary time with family. And uh, I'm for one, I'm going to make sure that I absolutely do it. And here's the other thing that happens is when you are taking the time to be creative, um, whatever you want to call it, creativity, the universe, whatever the thing is, like there are messages that can come through or like breakthroughs that can happen that you never even expected. So literally I was sitting here getting ready this morning and I'm looking over at the counter and this is why I had to talk to you guys. I'm looking over at the counter and I'm like, why do I keep looking at this, at this bottle? Like, this is so weird. Why, what am I drawn to on this? And I realized it was a bottle of scrubbing bubbles. You guys remember those? Yeah. So cool. The message on the back of the scrubbing bubbles bottle was we work hard so you don't have to. And I was like, oh my gosh, I think that's totally it because I have been looking for what's the messaging that I want to share about our content stuff that we have coming out. How do I share what it is, like how we are going to help teams, how we're going to help people with coming up with the right content and being able to repurpose that message. So scrubbing bubbles. So cool, right? We work hard so you don't have to. So freaking cool. And you guys will actually get to see the whole result of that, um, that entire little, uh, scrubbing bubbles epiphany that I had this morning. <laughs> I promise. It will happen very, very soon. So I really just wanted to share that with you guys that like, had I not actually just taken the time to relax and enjoy and just embrace all the other facets of life as well, that uh, this would not have actually just hit me. And I think that that's a pretty cool message to be able to share. Not only did I get to see my little cutie nephews and niece for Halloween, but I got to really relax and thoroughly enjoy some amazing friends, family, food, all the good Fs <laughs> and, um, and, and then get this message about scrubbing bubbles, right? We work hard so you don't have to. That I think is pretty epic. I think it was definitely worth the taking some time to just relax and, and engage, right? And uh, I think that it's the importance of that and the, the clarity and the messages. I mean, there are, like, I've literally just been taking notes and taking photos as things happen because there's so many messages, I think, that can come just from watching the way that the kids are playing and things that are happening. So I already have all these other ideas about things that I want to talk about. And I'm like, I'm so stoked that... Uh, that I finally was able to just kind of let go and, and allow these fun things to happen. And uh, the results, pretty awesome. And here I am, first day of November, and hanging out, and it is, it's actually warm out here. I mean, we're like low 50s for November in Utah. Pretty awesome, I think, yeah. So uh, anyway, I'm going to head back in because it's time to go head out for some food. Going to be awesome. Get to go play with the kids some more. And uh, I'm going to go work on figuring some more out with my scrubbing bubbles and uh, working hard so you don't have to. So that's it, you guys. Just pay attention. Like, enjoy the moments. Spend the time with your family and friends because it's just as important. And when those things strike you that you're like, huh, 
what, what seems interesting about that or something funny or something that you know can be a fun story, jot it down because it's going to be awesome to be able to use that in the future. And you don't want to forget it for sure. But this is the time when the amazing messages and everything can just creep in. So I am off to see what else the universe is going to hand me today and uh, what else I'm going to be able to share with you guys. And so me and Addie, you want to say hi, Addie? Here we go. We'll see if I can get the camera tilted the right way. There we go. Addie. There we go. <laughs> get the camera back up. And around. There we go. All right. Me and Addie are going to go head in and... Uh, <laughs> go get ready for some food and go play with the kiddos some more. So you guys have an amazing time and uh, write down those amazing things that happen. Start working on that storyboard and just let it come to you. It's super awesome. You guys, I totally forgot. But if you have not already visited the content toolbox, I have been interviewing some pretty awesome people lately and every one of them is adding some really cool stuff inside of the content toolbox. So make sure that you go. All you need to do is give us your email address. We will tell you about when other cool episodes come out, but uh, it's a pretty fair trade for some awesome stories. I mean, who else is going to talk to you guys about Halloween and scrubbing bubbles, right? Only me. <laughs> But seriously, go check it out. There are some amazing, fun resources in there. All free stuff that's going to help you no matter where you are, where you're stuck at in your business. Anything to just kind of help give you a boost. Anybody for you on your team, anything like that. So go check it out. And I will see you guys next episode. All right. Bye. Eddie, what are you doing? She's totally ruining my shot. Look at this. She's being a little scene stealer. Addie, come on. Hey. Good night.